So the way I look at working capital, is I will typically typically take a couple years of an average. If a business is growing, they t generally have negative working capital, meaning you have to invest money, cash, into the business, into the balance sheet. You are buying inventory. You have sales that you have not received the cash from yet. You are hiring employees. And as you put them on the books and, and they accrue uh, earnings, you haven't paid them yet. They get paid every two weeks. So there's a little bit of a lag there. That all is a negative working capital. It's an investment into the business as the business grows. Uh, so you can kind of trend line that with revenue, sale, with revenue sales. Conversely, if you have a business that is going to sell itself, that business might want to pull back on uh, on buying inventory. That that business may want to lean on their uh, customers to pay them faster than than 30 days. Maybe maybe get 15 day turnaround. Even if it's a little discount, you get the cash faster. Or they may want to pay their employees a little longer. They may stretch out vendors. All of that can be positive to working capital if you're paying uh, based on free cash flow and you have a a management team that's tweaking cash, working capital to juice the numbers. It's a temporary uh, increase, but it is an increase. And if you pay, assuming that's gonna continue going on, you're gonna overpay for the business. So you wanna take a look at cap, uh, working capital over the last several years to see what the trend line is and use that because it generally reverts back to some kind of mean or average.